Have you ever wanted to customize a powerful large language model like Llama 3 to perform a very specific task? Maybe you wanted to write code in a particular style, act as a subject matter expert on a niche topic, or generate text with your unique brand's voice. Well, if you've looked into it, you'll know that fine tuning is powerful, but can be incredibly complex and resource intensive. But what if I told you there's a framework that makes the entire process incredibly fast, efficient, and simple? Before we dive into the code, you'll need to set up a Google Colab notebook. Just go to colab.research.google.com and create a new notebook. The most important step is to enable the GPU. To do this, go to the Runtime menu at the top, select Change Runtime Type, and choose T4 GPU from the Hardware Accelerator dropdown. This gives us the computational power we need to fine-tune a model as large as Llama 3. All right, the first thing we need to do is get all our tools ready. We'll start with a few simple pip install commands. The most important one here is Unsloth. Unsloth is the magic ingredient. It's an open source framework that optimizes the fine tuning process, making it up to 2x faster and requiring 70% less VRAM compared to other methods. This is what allows us to run a model like Llama 3 on a free Google Colab GPU. TRL is the Transformer Reinforcement Learning Library. We use this for the SFT Trainer, which simplifies the training loop for us. PEFT stands for Parameter Efficient Fine Tuning. This library provides us with a method called LoRa, which we'll discuss in more detail later. Accelerate, designed to simplify distributed training and inference for PyTorch models. Bits and Bytes is a crucial library for quantization. Quantization is a technique that reduces the precision of the model for weights, allowing us to load a massive model like Llama 3 8B in a smaller 4-bit format. This drastically reduces its memory footprint without a significant loss in performance. Now that our dependencies are installed, we can load our model. First, we import all necessary libraries. The fast language model from pre trained function from Unsloth handles everything for us. Let's look at the parameters we set. Model name, we're using Unsloth Llama 3. This is a special 4 bit quantized version of the Llama 3 model that is pre optimized for Unsloth. Max seek length, this defines the maximum number of tokens in your prompt and the model's response combined. A higher number allows for longer conversations. D type is data type, set to none for auto detection. Load in 4 bit, this flag tells Unsloth to use the 4 bit quantization we just discussed, which is what enables us to run this model on consumer grade GPUs. The code then loads the model in its corresponding tokenizer, which is what converts your text into numbers the model can understand. Now it is time to prepare the custom dataset. This is where you make the model your own. For a model to learn a specific style or task, it needs to see a lot of examples of that style or task. We do this with a dataset. We're using a public dataset called Yama Alpaca Cleaned as an example. It's formatted with instructions, inputs, and outputs, which is a common format for instruction following models. Alpaca Prompt structures the data with clear sections for the instruction, input, and response. It ensures that every single example in our dataset is fed to the model in the exact same way. This consistent format is crucial for the model to learn the correct pattern for generating answers. Then we load a public dataset and takes a smaller subset of 500 examples to speed up the process for demonstration purposes. For a real world high quality fine tuning, you would typically use the entire dataset to maximize the model's learning. But a subset is used here to make the example runnable quickly. Next, a function called format prompts, func, is created to apply this template to each entry in the dataset. This function takes a batch of examples and iterates through them, combining the instruction, input, and output fields into a single text string formatted by the alpaca prompt. The special tokenizer.eos token, or end of sentence token, is appended to the end of each formatted prompt, signaling to the model where the response should end during the training process. Finally, the code uses a map function to apply this formatting function to the entire data set, transforming the raw data into a structured format ready for fine tuning. Next step is to add LoRa adapters. This is where the magic of parameter efficient fine tuning comes in. Instead of trying to update all 8 billion parameters of Llama 3, which would be incredibly slow and require a massive amount of VRAM, we use LoRa, or low rank adaptation. 
Laura works by adding small, trainable adapter matrices on top of the original model's frozen weights. We only train these tiny new matrices. When we're done, we can merge these small changes back into the original model. This saves a huge amount of time and memory while achieving excellent results. In our code, we use fastlanguagemodel.getpeftmodel to do this. We set a R rank of 16, which controls the size of these new matrices. The LoRa alpha parameter acts as a scaling factor for the adapters. We also specify the target modules, which are the specific layers of the model we want to apply the LoRa adapters to, such as the query, key, and value projections in the attention mechanism. Setting LoRa dropout to zero and bias to none optimizes for the training process. Use gradient checkpointing equals unsloth is a further optimization that reduces memory usage, making it possible to fine tune the model with limited VRAM. The random state parameter is used to ensure the reproducibility of the model's training process. With our model and data ready, we can now set up the trainer. We use SFT Trainer, or Supervised Fine Tuning Trainer, from the TRL library. This class handles the entire training loop for us. The Training Arguments class is where we specify all the details of our training run. Output Directory is where to save our model. NumTrain Epochs is how many times we want to go through our dataset per device train batch size, and gradient accumulation steps. These work together to manage our training. We set a small batch size, but we accumulate the gradients over multiple steps to simulate a much larger batch size, which improves training stability. Learning rate is the speed at which the model learns. After setting these, we simply call trainer.train, .train, and the fine-tuning process begins. Remember that the training time will vary based on dataset size and training parameters you set. The more example your dataset has, the longer it will take, but the better performance you will get. Also, the larger base model will take longer to train. In our case, in step 3, we use 500 examples from the dataset. This should train in around 10 minutes. Once the training is complete, it's time to see if our model learned anything. First, we load the model for inference only using fastlanguagemodel.forInference. Then we craft a new prompt that is related to our fine-tuning task. In our example, we ask about legal requirements for a tech startup, as our dataset contains information on this topic. We use tokenizer.applychatTemplate to format our new prompt and then call model.generate. This is where the model generates a response based on its new knowledge. The output will be a detailed response that is much more aligned with our training data than the original pre-trained model would have been. And there you have it, fine-tuning Llama 3 with Unsloth in just a few lines of code. We've gone from a general purpose model to a specialized one that can perform a specific task, all with minimal computational resources. The power of this technique is immense. I encourage you to try this with your own data and see what you can create. Let me know in the comments what kind of model you're gonna fine tune. If you are interested in learning AI and machine learning, check out other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.